Well, this week has been totally awesome with uh, all these new technologies. We have the iGAN uh, from Sita. We have the Autel Evo 2 Dual. And the only way it gets better than that is by combined technologies. And that's actually my favorite kind of testing. I love testing new technologies. But when things work together from different technology sources, that's when we really all win. Now, I promised you the other day whenever I made that video about the iGAN, I promised you I was going to make this. And instead of just showing a video going through a satellite dish, I figure, well, let's make the video come from the Autel Evo 2. So we have the Evo 2. Let's see if I can show it to you there. We have it there just uh, hovering in the back. We have uh, the video going here. We have it both um, uh, the optical and the thermal. We have uh, here we have the iGAN. Now, what I want to show you is see this orange cord? All right, this is what's sending the data out and you'll see it come over here. I'm gonna walk over here real quick. We kind of got this spaced out on purpose. And this is the Cobb Han ham satellite dish. It looks about the size of a notebook. There's my hand next to it. It looks about the size of like a laptop or something like that. And this is a satellite dish. Now this thing is uh, shooting that video signal from the Evo 2 60,000 miles up into space. All right, then it's bringing it back down into our system. And we, we have, again, we have these separated on purpose. Uh, there's that, and we have them separated on purpose. And it, then we are using this, just a cell phone, regular cell phone, as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then here is the, uh, the interface, uh, or the desktop, if you will, for iGAN. Now, what I want to show you now with satellite, I told you usually iGAN is way, way, way of sub-second, but whenever it's sending it 60,000 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and maximize that. You by necessity have to have a little bit of latency because it is now, again, this is video coming from the, I know we got some glare here. Let's see if I can knock it down a little bit. Um, this is coming from the Evo 2 Dual 60,000 miles. Let me see if I can, I got a little bit of glare, but watch this, let's see if we can show it. I'm gonna go ahead and move my hand now. Now you see it just drop. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, about two seconds, maybe a little bit less, second and a half. I'm gonna move my hand, my arm down now. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three. Got a little bit pixelated there. There it is. There it is. All right, so now we see it again. So let's try it one more time. I'll move it up. One, 1,000. Oh, now that was even less than a second. So anyway, there it is. I know it's very, very difficult to believe that we're sending high resolution imagery from a drone flying down here in Texas up to space, back down through the system and to this laptop in always less than two seconds, uh, between one and two seconds all the time. Uh, you know, again, just absolutely amazing combined technologies. It's definitely the way to go. And I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, these things are all working together. So again, I'm gonna bring you over here just to kind of show you the iGAN and how it's set up. So here you see the Evo 2 Dual set up with the crystal sky going into, this is the, the iGAN box. Um, there it is going out through the wire to the satellite and then over to the laptop. So anyway, I, I told you I would show it to you on the satellite. There it is. This thing actually will stream video satellite. And where this is significant, I just want to kind of, some people go, well, where's the big deal for that? If you ever get out in a, in say a hurricane or a tornado or any kind of disaster, it could be um, uh, earthquakes, anything, a lot of time all your cell communications will go down, but you still need to get this information out to instant command. Uh, with a satellite uplink like this from here, you can get your drone or even your pole cam, a camera like this or whatever needed to be sent out and you could get that information back to instant command in darn near real time, less than two seconds. So anyway, hope this was helpful. Hope this is informative <laughs> and I'm excited. So anyway, more videos coming, uh, but we'll talk to you later.